painting peeps and welcome to the no bra zone it's kathleen from cause creations and i'm doing a little experiment today this is a, um, a gallery wrap canvas that i painted on once wasn't real pleased with it so i went ahead and scraped it and let it dry for a few weeks i'm going to reuse this and um, i did a painting um, a while ago that got a lot of just wonderful reviews from y'all which I thank you for and um, it was kind of a mistake um, I had to work that painting for a good hour and 20 minutes to get those darn paints to to cooperate with me and I thought to myself well you know what it was a lucky mistake and today I am going to try to intentionally do it with it out being a mistake, I'm going to conquer these paints. So I'm going to post all the uh, paints in, um, in the description and um, a photograph so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to do the exact thing I did for the last pour. It started out as a waterfall pour, then it turned into a swipe and then it turned into a ring pour and then I tilted the heck out of it and when it was all said and done um, I had a beautiful painting that I named A River Runs Through It. So I'm going to attempt to do it again this time intentionally. Now so many factors will affect the outcome. Number one, um, are my paints mixed to the exact same consistency they were last time? Did I use the same pouring medium? Did I put the same amount of layers in the cup as last time? So it's really difficult to repeat a painting. You can get close but so many factors. Is the temperature in my workspace the same? I mean, I don't know. I'm not a chemist. I'm not a scientist. But we are certainly going to try this again with intent. <laughs> so I'm going to get quiet, prep my canvas, do my pour, and um, we'll see how it all works out. So wish me luck, guys. I'm real glad you're here. And... Uh, Let's get busy. Thank you. 